Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lainey, thank you so much for stopping by. As you can tell by the title of today's video, we're gonna be doing another installment in my BYOP series where I'm building my own palette inspired by the Harry Potter book covers. So if you wanna see um, the BYOP and look I create based on the cover of the Chamber of Secrets book cover, then just keep on watching. Before we get into that though, please remember to hit that subscribe button so you never miss another video from me. All right, so I am super excited. We are doing the second installment in my BYOP series. Thank you to everyone who watched the first edition with the, uh, what is it called? The Sorcerer's Stone. <laughs> um, today we are doing um, the Chamber of Secrets and it's kind of funny because just as a refresher, this is what the Chamber of Secrets book cover looks like. But if you notice, mine is all taped up from fourth grade. That is my handwriting from fourth grade because it just got so, because this is what happened <laughs> to, <laughs> to my second book. So um, in second grade, I, I decided to duct tape it and write the name of it on the, on the spine. So this is the book cover. As you can see, lots of, again, kind of the yellowy orangey neutrals. We've got some red. We've got like this like aqua shade and some green. Um, over here and then on the back we've got more yellow green um the yellow and orangey the, the, the oh my god the yellow and orangey neutrals and a little bit of purple again I kind of ignored the purple but this is our inspiration for our BYOP and this time instead of doing a nine pan I ended up doing a 12 pan just because I felt like with the colors at hand I needed a little bit more to make it cohesive um, and so I took this 12 pan palette that I've had for a while from ColourPop and this is our color palette. So I definitely went hard and focused in on the reds. We've got the more neutrals um, and then we've got some greens in that aqua shade. So we're going to swatch them one by one. I'm going to tell you the shade names and my reasoning for picking them. And then I am going to do an eye look. So I'm just going to set this down and show you shades one by one. So first up, we have the shade Juicy Boost. This is from a ColourPop palette. I believe this is the main squeeze palette. And this is a really pretty red to gold duochrome. So I thought that it would be a good fit. I'm going to do one row each and then I'll point out why I picked each shade. I'm going to do it a little different this time. Let me know if you like that. Next up, we have the shade Cygnus from Davina. So you can see the shift there. So there you can see the shift a little bit. It's a little out of focus, but so there we have Cygnus. Next up, we have Majesty from Cleona. Just such a pretty shade there is that kind of has that green almost shift to it it's really pretty so there we have oops there we have majesty next oops next we have the shade ripple from cleona this is more of that aqua shade that i wanted to bring in as a little pop really pretty and flaky this is one of their glitter multi-chromes majesty is a vibrant multi-chrome. So this one's definitely a little more flaky, um, but it does smooth out on the lid when you apply it. So there is Ripple. Next up we have the shade Froze, once again from the Main Squeeze palette. In these book covers you're gonna see a lot of red from the Main Squeeze palette just because I don't have a lot of reds right now in my collection. So it's more of a pinky red matte. And there you go. Next up, I think I included this in my last one, but this is the shade Trooper from ColourPop. This is uh, one of their singles and not from a palette, so it's a little bit bigger than the other ones. That's what it looks like. Of course, the frizzy shade stained my, my wrist. Oh my god. I'm just going to swatch all of these and then, <laughs> uh, then I'll go through why I did each of them. I like completely lost track. Next up, one of my favorite shades. Oh my god, it's so pretty. This is Moonlit from Davina. This is such a special formula. Look at how sparkly that shade is. It's so pretty. Oh my god, I have sparkles going everywhere. 
it's so pretty so we have a green mat this is honeydew from sydney grace this was in their danny's dream bundle i don't think this is available anymore um but they have a lot of greens and i know they release some of the danny's dream shades as non-bundle shades now so you you might be able to get it but pretty standard green really pretty next up we have our last red and this is the shade like it's hot again pretty sure this is from the main squeeze palette i depotted mine um so yeah there we have like it's hot that's a really nice red <laughs> next up we have a green shimmer this is the shade green mango from sydney grace really nice shade there it is on my finger so there is green mango then we have two more green mattes we have granny smith and then we have key lime which came to me broken but it's still usable And there it is on the finger. There we go. So this is our color story. I think it's really exciting. So I'm going to give my arm a little bit of a break because it's getting sore. And then I'm going to go through and explain why I picked each shade. Okay, so here is our book and here is our color story. The so first up we have Juicy Boost and Cygnus. Um, the first one from Colourpop, the second one from Divina. Obviously, I went with the reds in the cover. That's pretty much why I picked all of these reds. Um, I picked Juicy Boost specifically because it's more neutral. It's kind of playing on the red and the neutral, and it would be a more, like, wearable shade um, to add in. And then Cygnus, I just thought it was a really nice shifty shade to kind of take inspiration from Fox the Phoenix. And um, I just thought it would be a good shifting shade to include. Next up, we have Majesty from Cleona, and I picked that specifically because of the fire on the background, that yellowy-orange fire. Also, it has a slight green shift, so I thought it would play into the greens really nicely. And then we have Ripple, which I did specifically to play off of this aqua shirt that Harry is wearing. Next up, we have Frosé, and again, really just some red mattes to tie in these shades. Same with Trooper from Colourpop, really just playing in these neutrals that are kind of on the uh, background of the book cover. Next up, we have the shade Moonlit from Davina, and that's really pretty simple, just the silver foiling on the book cover to represent it, and it's so pretty, and I thought it would play with the greens really, really well. What do we have next? Okay, we have the green mats. I forget which one this is called. Then we have Honeydew from Sydney Grace. And again, really just playing on the greens. And I wanted some greens that would tie in well with the aqua. So that's why I went with Honeydew. Then we have Like It's Hot. This one from Colourpop. And again, just a red mat to tie in up here. And then we have the rest of the Sydney Grace shades. Um, and again, that's just the, the green of the snakes, um, in the background and on the back. Okay. My arm is getting sore. I am going to wipe these off and we will get into the eye look. Okay. So I've got my eyelids primed. I just am using my Sigma Eye Base in the shade Ignite. This is a really nice eye primer. So I've actually already used this palette. I assembled it uh, about a week ago and I ended up using these red mattes in Cygnus. I posted a look on my Instagram. I'll pop a picture up here as well. Um, and I know I want to do a look with the greens and the silver, but I think today I want to challenge myself. Um, I want to do something with the red and the, or, uh, the greens and the orange that's really pushing myself out of my comfort zone with color theory. But I think we can make it work. So we're going to try that today. I'm like really nervous. <laughs> um, so I'm going to start out my ankle beard. I hope it's better. <laughs> um, so I'm going to start out with this lighter green as a transition. And then I'll do a little bit of this green in the crease and we'll go from there. I'm going to start out with the diffuse crease brush, the E38 from Sigma and just dip into that lightest green. And we're going to Oh gosh, okay. And we're just gonna roll into 
the crease. This is my second eye look of the day, so if it's looking a little rough around my eyes, it's because I tried to just take off my eye makeup without taking off my face makeup so I could film this video. Um, I filmed an exciting video that I don't think, no, it won't have gone up yet. I'm going to be doing a themed week of videos the last week of February, um, and I did a get ready with me for that themed week. I'm really excited about it, so stay tuned for that. Um, but I did a like full face of video and, um, I wanted to film this video as well to get it ready. So I am, I just took off my eye makeup <laughs> and, uh, tried my best. I just reapply a little bit of concealer and powder under my eyes and I don't think it looks terrible, but I think you can tell I, it's not the, the best application. <laughs> so the eye, this Sydney Gray single blended out like an absolute dream. Absolutely love the Sydney Grace mattes. I'm trying to, I need to do a brush to glitter. <laughs> so I'm gonna go into the Sigma tapered blending brush, the E45. It just looks like this. And I'm gonna go into that medium green, so not the darkest one, but this one. And I'm gonna just do that in the outer V kind of of my eyelid. Um, but I really, really like this palette. And I'm really glad I put it together. I think it's an interesting color story. Not something I would ever put together myself. And I think it's a really inspiring color story. I'm glad I've already been able to use it a little bit. And I'm, I'm really enjoying it. So I'm also going to dip into that darkest green now and just do the same thing. So it's been really fun to play with. And um, I mean, I've only done one look, but... Um, I think it's a really cool color story and I'm just, I'm already loving this series so much. I think it's so inspiring. I already come up with ideas to do more BYOPs like inspired by other things. I think it's just a great way to, um, I think it's just a great way to reimagine your collection and um, think of your makeup in ways you wouldn't have thought of before. So now I'm going in with that first bl uh, fluffy blending brush we used from Sigma. Um, so I've been enjoying this series. The first palette I made, I only ended up doing one look and I didn't take a picture of it. I just did um, kind of an orangey look with that Lynx shade from Davina. Um, but I ended up liking how it came out. So um, I just suck at taking pictures. I've actually been pretty good at it. I've uh, been posting kind of nearly daily looks on my Instagram. So that's been really fun. So this is what the matte situation looks like. Um, let me, I'm liking how it looks. So, this is what we have. You know, I don't go super duper dark with my eye looks. I am going to quickly apply glittered glue on both of my eyes, and then we're going to go in with the Majesty shade. I'm like nervous for how this is going to come out. Ah! All right, so we have glitter primer on the lids, and I'm just going to go into Majesty and apply it. I'm like so nervous. Oh my god. Okay. I'm not hating it so far. Definitely bringing out that green shift, which I think is really cool. Yeah, this is... I'm not hating it. <laughs> I'm really not. Okay, so here is where we are. I think I want to deepen the outer V a little bit more. So I'm going to go into this brush from Colourpop. It's an E1. It's just one of these like fluffy shader, I guess. I don't know what you'd call it. So I'm going to go into the darkest shade, the key lime shade, I believe, if I remember correctly. And I'm just going to really deepen it up. Just because I feel like it needs it. Yeah, like that. And on this side, hopefully you can see a little bit better. I'm still trying to figure out how to film a little bit better, but okay. I think I just need to blend it out a little bit, so. Yeah, I actually think this is kind of a cool combination. I don't know, I like it. This is fun, I think this is really fun. 
definitely something different for me and I really like it so there we go is it patchy it doesn't look patchy in person why does it look patchy on camera I think it looks good okay just gonna dust off just a little bit of fallout I have I don't have a ton Okay, I'm gonna go do eyeliner and then in mascara and I'll be right back. Actually, no, before we do that, I'm gonna go into that dark green shade and just run it on this little pencil brush on the lower lash line. Like that. Okay, now I'm gonna go do eyeliner and I'll be right back. Okay, so I did eyeliner and mascara. So first I did my winged liner. This is the ColourPop BFF liquid liner with the brush tip. I was looking for alternatives. I don't like the next one. I don't I used to love the KVD one and then I stopped buying it because of Kat Von D and then when she left I rebought it and it's not as good. Actually what I think is I think it's actually old product that they couldn't sell but that's my own conspiracy theory <laughs> or that's just my own theory. <laughs> um, then for the waterline I just did a little bit of the spare time uh, creme gel liner from the Raw Beauty Christie collection with Colourpop. Oops. Um, and then I did my Lashtopia mascara as always, because that's what I have currently open. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm not going to do an inner corner highlight because I don't think like in this one I would use Moonlit, but I don't think it will go with this look. So I'm going to not do that. I'll use my highlighter instead. But first I want to contour. I do have a little bit of a base product on, but we're just going to pretend that that doesn't exist. And so we're going to contour with the NYX HD Blush and Taupe. I would love to finish this year. I don't know if I will, but I've just been enjoying bronzing a little bit. So just going to contour my cheekbone just a little bit. This is a really good one for if you have light skin. Um, I don't know if they still make it. I think they discontinued these blushes, but just a light contour. Nothing too out of ordinary there and then I think for this look I just want to use a peachy blush this is the uh Houston Auto Balm Girl Powder from The Balm that is a mouthful <laughs> I am going to use this BH Cosmetics blush brush and just do a little bit of a peachy cheek again I kind of had some face product on from my look earlier but it started to wear away because I'm just mine always wears away I don't know what's up with it <laughs> um and then finally we are going to use my Colourpop Flexitarian highlight that I am trying to pan for highlight if I can open it I always try to squeeze on or screw on the lid as tight as possible so it doesn't dry out and we're just going to use the Sigma F03 brush for highlight this is a great highlighting brush for putty products also if you can't tell i'm wearing my deathly hollows necklace that my boyfriend got me for christmas a few years ago and then i'm just gonna take this aoa f16 brush and i'm gonna dip into flexitarian and i'm gonna use that as an inner corner highlight and that's the look oh i have to do lipstick where am i we're not done yet oh no look what i did i put the the lid onto it oh well yeah i always like really squeeze that on <laughs> let's see let's see if i want to stay with this lip this is a thousand percent from ColourPop. it's a matte x formula this is um in my project pan just trying to use it 20 times so let's try it out I have some lip balm on, so it's kind of sheering out, which I don't mind. All right, I do kind of like that. Okay, so yeah, this is 1000% from ColourPop. Slightly sheared out with the lip balm underneath, but I think it's kind of nice to have this dramatic look going on. I kind of like it. Do I like it? I like it. I love the eye look. I would have never paired these two shades together. Literally never. I have, <laughs> you can see my brushes. Um... Wow. Okay. This was a really fun video. <laughs> I could not think. So once again, this is the cover of the Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. This is my eye look based on my BYOP I created based on the cover. So once again, here's the palette. 
and here is the book cover. I like it. I think it's fun. But yeah, I really like how this came out. I think it's so fun and um, I just enjoyed going out of my comfort zone with this. I think it was, um, I think this is such a great series for me and I can't wait to do the next one. I am really excited. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I do, if I remember, or if I do it before I upload this video, I will insert a picture of my green and silver look um, because I'm really excited for that one. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, leave a comment if you like down below, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!